Hi guys, happy new year and welcome back to my channel. So I really hope you had a lovely new year. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this year brings and today's video I'm going to kick off by rounding up all my favourite products from 2016. So I've chosen one or two products from each of the categories and yeah, these are just products that I've been absolutely loving and you've probably seen me using these a lot in my makeup tutorials or like in monthly favourite videos and stuff like that as well. But anyway, so I'm just going to start off with foundations because I didn't really have a primer or anything like that that I really enjoyed and to be honest I don't really use primer that much so I'm going to start off with some foundations. So the first foundation that I've been really loving is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Um, this foundation I love for every single day and it's a foundation that's like in between. It's not matte and it's not like a glowy foundation, it's just sort of in between which is really nice. Um, it blends really nicely across the face and it does go on quite liquidly so it gives you a lot of time um, to move the product around and really blend it in. It has a really good medium coverage and it lasts for a long while. Um, so I've been really really loving this a lot in 2016 but another foundation that I have been using constantly this year is this one here which is from L'Oreal and it's the infallible one and um, I just love L'Oreal foundations they are my favorite like by far my favorite foundations to wear I just think they look absolutely flawless on your face and this one has to be my favorite from L'Oreal like hands down this is my favorite and as I say this is the infallible 24 hour matte one and um, I wear this near enough every single day because I just think it's incredible and if you have like a lot of kind of um, like little spots or anything like under the surface of your skin give this a try because like this will basically minimize the appearance of them it will make you look really mattified and your skin will just look really smooth and very soft looking it has a really good medium to high coverage finish as well and it feels really lightweight on the skin i mean i have talked about this foundation a lot throughout the year and yeah i just think it's absolutely incredible these two foundations from l'oreal are like literally so so good so yeah i've been loving these a lot in 2016 so moving on to concealers, uh, the concealer that I've been loving a lot this year has still been my Maybelline The Eraser but I mentioned that in my last, I think, uh, Best of Beauty which was in for 2015 um, and I talked about it all year as well so I thought I'd go with the other concealer that I've been really really loving and I discovered for the first time this year and it is this one here which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer now this concealer is absolutely gorgeous it covers everything under your under eye area it kind of brightens and awakens it as well which I really love it has a really light formula so it doesn't feel sticky or doesn't crack up and cake up under the eyes and um, it does last a really long while on your eyes as well and it doesn't melt into your eyes and get all gunky so yeah really love this and that is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline okay so for contour um, there isn't that many that I've been absolutely loving um, I've been using a lot of kind of deeper bronze to sort of contour my cheeks but one product that has actually been formulated like made as a as a contour product is the Maybelline Master Sculpt product so that's what it looks like there and this I love using to contour on the daily and this is the shade medium to dark so as you can tell this has like a lot more of a kind of grey undertone like an ashy grey undertone to it which is really good for chiseling out your cheekbones especially if you're got like a kind of um quite fair and light skin it's really good for um, chiseling out your cheekbones and not giving you that too much of a muddy a muddy grey look on your cheeks. I don't really use the highlighting side there that much to be honest I don't, don't even think I've used it at all to be honest but I've used the contour like constantly. The powder is really kind of finely milled as well so it's really easy for you to um, work with and blend easily into the hollows so yeah I really do love this. Okay so for bronzer there is two bronzers that I discovered kind of in the later part of the year but I have used constantly since I discovered them and the first one is a more higher end bronzer and it's this this one here which is from Urban Decay and this is their new beach bronzer and I have mine in the shade bronze. They do have another one which is in the shade Sunkiss but I just got bronze because that one looked a little bit darker and it's good for kind of contouring as well bronzing up your cheeks. So this is what it looks like here inside. So as you can see it's a really nice warm bronzer, very kind of goldeny and sandy as well. So this is a matte bronzer which I absolutely love, they're just so much nicer on the cheeks. So I have that on my cheeks today as well and I just love it. I normally wear this when like I'm filming or I've got anywhere to go like or quite special events I'll wear this because it is a little bit deeper than the other bronzers I do have and yeah I wear bronzer every single day so yeah I like to use this only on very special occasions because of the price tag and um, but this is what 
looks like here it's absolutely gorgeous I do recommend it 100% and if you're really into matte bronzers then this is just perfect like matte bronzers are just the best anyway so the other drugstore bronzer that I discovered this year because there isn't that many amazing ones from the drugstores um, is this one here which is from L'Oreal and this is their Latera Glam Bronzer now this comes in another really stunning packaging it's really like big and large and this kind of bronze rose gold look to it as well and um, the only thing i don't really like about this is the fact that it doesn't have like a mirror on it this is in the shade capri natural and this is just a really gorgeous gorgeous shade that's what it looks like there it has a nice fresh scent to it as well like not too scented but it has a nice fresh scent to it so this is a slightly dearer bronzer from the drugstore i think it's between 12 and 15 pounds but it's like so worth the money because as you can see there is a lot of product in there and yeah it's just absolutely incredible okay so for blush as you know i don't kind of experiment too much with blushes because i do prefer prefer bronzers over blushes and i wear bronzer a lot more than i do blushes um, and I, when I go for blushes, I like to go for more of a kind of peachy, kind of corally undertone um, blush. And one I discovered this year um, that's just incredible is the the sleek suede one. So this is what it looks like here. This is the packaging of it there. So that's what it looks like there and that's what it looks like inside. So as you can see, this has more of a kind of peachy, um, corally undertone to it and it is matte as well. So this is a great blush for me because I don't like to wear a lot of red or pinky blushes. Um, I like to have something more kind of muted and yet this is matte so it's just incredible and it does the trick. I have it on my cheeks today, just a nice little flush to my cheeks without looking too pinky and red. So yeah, I use this blush here which is absolutely gorgeous and I've been using this um, a lot since I discovered it. I think maybe in like um, summertime or just after summer maybe august something like that and um, discovered it then and yeah it's just incredible and it's matte so i'm not going to have all that kind of glitter ball cheek going on so yeah really do love that and that's suede by sleek so this year is the first kind of year that i really kind of experimented with highlighters and like highlighting my cheekbones and stuff like that um so i, I kind of stayed away from highlighters for quite a while because i didn't really like the fact of highlighting certain like little kind of spots and stuff like that, that i have kind of going on on the kind of cheekbone area um but i tried a couple this year that have been really nice but one that I have really liked is a really really cheap product and it is this one here which is from Too True and this is a rainbow highlighter so as the name suggests it is I was just going to talk about a highlighter there but I just opened it and it is smashed into smithereens and I don't know how in the hell that happened and I'm really pissed about that because yep yeah, I really do love that highlighter but anyway I'm not going to dwell on it because it was like a really cheap highlighter anyway but anyway so I'm just going to move on and the next product I'm going to talk about is uh, my brow products okay so the brow products that I've been really really loving this month well one brow product in particular is this one here which is the fab brows kit so that's what it looks like there and i'll show you what it looks like inside hopefully this doesn't smash into some of things as well so that's what it looks like inside so as you can see there is this bit here which says fab which is upside down and there is a brow part here in the corner and then there's a brow brush so i don't really use the brow brush at all in it and this part here which says fab this spare space here is for brow stencils so with this little kit you do get some stencils but I don't really use them that often. I do use them sometimes when I feel like I really want to change in my brows but on the daily I don't really. I just use this powder which is in the side which is incredible. Like this powder is really good. I have it on my brows today and with a little bit of brow gel to set it in place and this is the shade dark brown and I just think it's a really really good uh, brow product. The powder is so kind of finely milled. It's really easy to work with and yeah I use this every single day now because I used to use my um, being true brow thing constantly and I mentioned that in my last um, like last year's um, favourites but yeah this one has taken over that and I just love it. Um, as I said I don't really use the brow um, brush that you get with it i use this brush here which i'm going to talk about as well and um, so that is a brow product which i absolutely adore and that is from fab brows and that is the shade dark brown so the brow brush that i use every single day is this one here which is from bh cosmetics so i use this every single day because i think it's just amazing it's really good for giving you that really sharp and clean edge as you can see um, on my brows i just think it's really easy to work with it goes well with that brow uh, powder also goes really well with my other brow products like my one that I say from uh, being true and also the Maybelline there's a Maybelline I can't remember what the name of the 
the product is but it's a Maybelline little kit one as well for your brows and yeah it just works really well with them so I have tried to use some other brow brushes over the year like some of the ones you get in the little kits and also another one which I didn't really like too much but this one is just my favourite and the only thing that I don't really like about this and it's not like anything to do with the product really it's just how you can buy it because this uh, brush actually comes in this set from BH Cosmetics so if you do want this little brush you're going to have to buy like the full set and yeah it's it's just a bit awkward to get sort of thing but it is amazing and I use this every single day so I want to quickly mention a tan that I've been absolutely obsessed with in 2016 and it is this one here which is from Vita Liberata and this is their body blur and it gives you an instant HD skin finish and it can last for 24 hours so this tan is absolutely gorgeous it is very pricey but the but the finish it gives your skin and how easy it is to apply and how easy it is to wash off is incredible now I normally use this all on my kind of top half like on my um, my neck my shoulders and my arms and like my body the top part here because I always like to match any foundations that I have that's maybe not the right shade for me but I use this quite a lot and I also use it for my hands as well but today I haven't put any on my hands because I'm going to be swatching some lip products for you so I haven't put any on my hands today it sits beautifully on the skin it covers everything and it gives you a nice little glow to your skin as well well um yeah it says it's 24 hour wear and i don't really wear it for 24 hours like unless i don't wash it off that night or anything but it's a really great tan to wear like if you have like an event to go to and you haven't tanned or you've no time to tan and then go in the shower and all that and you wash it all off and top up again then this is an incredible tan just to use like that like instantly see so yeah, i just love the finish it gives you and it's really easy to wash off as well there's no hassle of washing this off at all so yeah really do love this tan and that's from feet and liberata okay so i'm going to go back to a few brow products that i forgot to mention there when I was talking about that brow powder and they are some brow gels so these two gels here have been my favourite this year and this one here is from Topshop this looks like a little mini one but it is actually the full size that you get from Topshop so this is what it looks like here and the brush in it is like really small and it's really perfect for getting into your brows without budging any hairs about with the powder so this is in the shade Edge so it sort of like gives my um, brows a little bit of kind of like highlighted kind of effect to make them look more natural it keeps the brows in place all day and yeah I really do love this this is probably my favourite and the other one that I do have is this one here as I said from um, Miss Beauty and this is just their brow gel and this is slightly new and this is in the shade Brunette so this again is a lovely lovely brow gel and it sets the brows in place and I use this constantly as well but to be fairly honest my favourite is this one here which is from Topshop the brow gel is just incredible but yeah I use these I switch these up um, daily and I absolutely love them so yeah really do recommend these these are great Okay, so a couple of eye products that I've been really obsessed with in 2016 is this little mascara here, which is from Clinique. Now, the mascara that I constantly use and still to this day, and I've been using it for a good few years now, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. But I have talked about that so much on my channel that I'm not going to bore you with that anymore. So I'm going to tell you about this one here, which I've been using a lot as well. This one is incredible, and this is like a little mini size of the Clinique High Impact Mascara. So I go for this quite often when I'm going out for the weekend or going anywhere special than I do wear this because I just love the brush on it. It is completely different from the Lash Sensational because this one is more sort of softer and the Lash Sensational is a little bit harder. I'll show you what I mean. Um, so that's what the brush head looks like on that one. So as you can see, this one is a lot longer and kind of like thinner in a sense because the Lash Sensational sort of like um, arches up so this gives me great volume gives me good length and it gives me a good hold in my lashes kind of all day which I really like and also this doesn't bleed to your under eye area which is great and today I actually have this on my lower lashes and on my top lashes I have a completely different mascara which is a new mascara that I'm testing out but um, yeah this one I have on my lower lashes and I love just the kind of nice spidery effect it gives on my lower lashes so yeah love this and I switch up between this and the last sensational like I've been doing that all year okay so this year I've used a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes but one that really does stand out to me and I use quite a lot of the shades in it like more than any other kind of eyeshadow palettes is this one here which is from the BAM and this is the nude one so this palette has been out for many many years like as you all know but I just really became obsessed with it because of a couple of shades in it so I'll show you what it looks like inside so this is what it looks like inside you do get a little brush with it but I'm going to hold it now so it doesn't fall um, so this is what it looks like inside and 
as you can see there is a lot of kind of warm shades on this side and slightly more kind of cooler shimmery shades on that side so I'll give that a close up for you so that's what it looks like there and the shades I use the most on this palette is the shade Sexy which is this gorgeous kind of cranberry shade down here. I love that shade on my, on my eyes. I have a little bit of that in my eyes today mixed in with um, a shadow from another palette. And then I love the black shade there. I love the cranberry shade and the black shade mixed together. It gives off just a really gorgeous smoky eye. Um, and I love the couple of brown shades are seductive, sultry and sophisticated. I love them couple there. They're just amazing for like every single day as well. And I absolutely adore this shade Sassy for kind of highlighting my inner corners and brow bone as well. So yeah, really do love this palette and I've been loving the shades in that a lot this year. But there is a couple other palettes that I do really like but the majority of the shades in that palette is the ones that I went for a lot this year. So yeah, Okay, so now moving on to my favourite products, which are lip products, and I'm going to start off with some lippies, and I'm going to swatch some of these for you, so that's why I haven't tanned my hands today. So the first couple of lip products that I've been really enjoying in 2016 are these ones here. Um, I think I think these are new, or maybe they were maybe the previous year. I can't remember. These are the L'Oreal Color Riche, and these are like the nude collection. So I have Eva's nude, and I have J Lo's nude. So this is what it looks like here and I love these for every single day. So these are a little bit more kind of sheer on the lips but they are so kind of kind of glossy on the lips which is really nice. So I'll swatch Eva for you. So this is what Eva looks like there. That's what Eva looks like there and I'll swatch this on my hand for you. That's what Eva looks like there and then as I said the other one from that range I've been really loving is the JLo nude. So this is what JLo looks like here. Again, very very similar because it is nude. So that's what Jewel looks like there. So as you can see that has more of a pinky undertone and that one has more of a peach undertone. So they are a little bit more kind of sheer on the lips but I really like that because it gives you more of a kind of plumpiness to my lips. So Jewel is just a really easy lip colour to wear every single day as well. And I use these colours a lot, like I go for these lippies a lot um, because they're just lippies that you can really throw on if you don't want to worry about um, applying a lip liner with because just applying these on their own, like they give you a really plumpy look to your lips and make your lips, lips look nice and kind of juicy. Okay, so I'm going to talk about another lipstick because it's too hard to narrow down just one from the past year. So another one that I've been loving and I've been obsessed with. Um, now, I don't know whether I mentioned this maybe in last year's favourites, uh, month, uh, yearly favourites. I don't know if I mentioned that in that as well because I'm not too sure how long I've had this lippy for. But I know throughout the year I have mentioned it many times in monthly favourites or in any videos I've talked about my favourite products. And I know this has been in my handbag constantly. So it's this shade here which is from Fit Bliss, it's from Barry M and this shade is Truffle Shuffle which is 169. Now this is gorgeous, this is like a nude shade with a brownie undertone to it like as you can see there it has a pinky brownie undertone to it like that. It's just gorgeous. So that's what it looks like there absolutely gorgeous so I'll swatch this and um, so that's what that shade looks like there and as you can see this one is more sort of opaque than these two from L'Oreal these ones are more sort of kind of sheer finishes whereas this one is very kind of um, opaque and very creamy and very glossy as you can see there this is so buttery and so clean on the lips like seriously it is the most comfortable lipstick I have ever worn. It's really easy to apply as well and you don't really need to apply a lip liner with this either because it makes your lips look so plump because the fact it is that kind of nudish brown shade which is very similar to your actual lip shade and yep yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend this. It is really inexpensive from the drugstore and it's just a lipstick that you definitely need in your life or you need to try it because it is hands down my favourite lipstick ever like ever. Okay, so I want to mention a liquid lipstick and it is a matte liquid lip, which is this one here, which is also from the drugstore, and this is from Tanya Burr. Now, this just came out, I don't know if it was the summertime, I'm not too sure, of last year, and this went crazy, especially here in the UK, and it was constantly sold out, and it was really hard to get hold of, but I did manage to get one, and this is the shade Martha Moo, so this is what it looks like here, and if you don't know Tanya Burr, she is actually an English YouTuber, um, and yeah, she came out with some cosmetics in Superdrug, and this is one of her newer lip products, 
and I'm going to swatch this for you because this is an incredible shade. This is like a shade you can wear every single day and if you don't really like um, lipsticks that have a kind of creamy kind of buttery finish to them and you prefer like a matte lip then this is perfect because seriously it's matte on the lips once it dries down but it doesn't feel matte at all on the lips. It feels more like a satin. It is so kind of velvety smooth on the lips and you feel like you don't have anything on at all with it. So I'm going to swatch for you. So first of all I actually want to mention the applicator on it. The applicator is so much different from a lot of applicators that I've used and um, if you can see there, if you can see there it's more of a flat applicator so it's not really like a doe foot applicator it's just quite flat and it's actually really really nice it's so easy to apply um, on your lips so that is the shade Martha Moo there so as you can see this is more of a kind of mauvey pinky um, nude shade um, and the rest in there are kind of more browny and peachy nudes but this is gorgeous this is a mauvey shade that's just exquisite for daytime and it can also transition into a night shade as well it's just absolutely gorgeous and as I said it feels really velvety smooth on the lips as well so yeah absolutely adore this lip okay so three last lip products I want to mention because I was so excited to get these lip products and they have literally been on my lips constantly um, all year as well like all 2016 and they are three liquid lipsticks from Colourpop so yep yeah, I got Colourpop this year for the first time and I'm obsessed with how amazing the formulas are so I have a bunch of matte satins and um, glosses and metallics but these three here have been my favourite for like the past six months and um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is this one here which is their ultra satin lip in the shade Echo Park. Now this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a great shade for every single day and it goes with many different eye looks. So this is the shade that I actually have on my lips just now and as you can see that is just quite nude but it goes really well with um, this eye shade and lots of other eye shades to be honest. I love the applicators of Colourpop. They have like the doe foot applicators like that and I'm going to swatch this one for you. That's what Echo Park looks like there. So that's it there. And as you can see it's very similar to um, the Barry M Truffle Shuffle shade which is that one right there. It's very similar um, and I absolutely love it. It's just that kind of nudey brown shade which is just perfect for every single day. So the other kind of mauve shade that we're in a lot is from their matte range and this is the shade Bumble. So that is the shade Bumble there and it's actually quite similar to the Tanya Burr matte lip in Martha Moo. So yeah, they're quite similar there. And the last shade I want to mention um, is a shade that I go for when I feel like I want to be a little bit more bold and a bit more out there. And that is the shade Cozy and this is in a satin finish. So again with this one, it's so comfortable to wear in the lips. Now I don't wear red shades that often to be honest, but this shade I wear a lot because of the kind of orange undertone it has to it. So yeah, it's a really bold, corally, ready shade and it is going to be absolutely perfect for the summertime because when you put it on your lips, it just looks amazing amazing you just it just brightens up your day to be honest it just brightens up your whole look it brightens up your whole complexion it's just amazing and yeah it really puts in mind of like a summer holiday so this is going to be great in the summertime so that's what the shade looks like there so as you can tell there is more of a kind of orangey undertone to it which is a really lovely shade it's very bold and I don't tend to go for bold uh, lips that often but this one I just obsessed with and I wear this a lot and I don't mind that it's really bold uh, because of that kind of nice kind of orange kick to it so yeah I really do love this shade Cozy from Colourpop and I do recommend it um, if you're looking for a really lovely bold lipstick for the kind of coming spring and summertime this is going to just brighten up your day and brighten up your life because it's literally just so so nice okay so I feel as if I've talked for ages and I still have a couple more products to get through and I'm just going to quickly fly through these um, so these I'm going to talk about next are lip, uh, lip liners and these lip liners are my favourite by far. So this one I've talked about many times and this is the Rimmel Exaggerate and East End Snob. Like I'm not going to talk about this much more because it's incredible so just get your hands on this if you haven't already because it's just amazing. I've had to try and remove those lipsticks right now because they are going all over my jumper and I'm raging about that. Anyway, so the other one that other lip line that I've been really loving is this one here, which is from Miss Beauty, and that is the shade Bubblegum. So I'll swatch this one maybe. So that is the shade Bubblegum there. It's just a really lovely nudie pink shade. It goes 
really well with a lot of lipsticks as well like especially more kind of pinky toned lipsticks that goes perfectly with so the other one that i'm going to quickly talk about is from topshop and this is their lip contour and this came out this year and yep loving this this one's more of a brownie nude there now i don't know whether you've noticed but a lot of the ones that i'm showing you here are actually retractable lip liners like as you can see that it's retractable it goes up and down and i absolutely love retractable lip liners they are just so much better than pencil lip liners or ones that are coals but they don't they're not retractable so they have hardly any product in the actual stick it's just so so stupid because a lot of the kind of non-retractable ones are quite expensive to be honest but yeah all three of these are retractable and they are so inexpensive and they're really easy for you to get a hold of so yeah i do recommend every single one of these like three here okay so the last couple of things i want to quickly mention because this video is going to be so so long but the last couple of things i want to mention are some nail polishes now this year i've really gotten into wearing nail polishes a lot like um, yeah, one nail polish that I've been wearing a lot and you can see from the bottle here, like hopefully you can see that it is basically almost done, it's almost half done really. Um, and this is the Maybelline, no Maybelline sorry, the L'Oreal Colour Riche in the shade 114 which is Nude Demoiselle. And this is gorgeous for making your nails look really well manicured. Like I love, love, love that off kind of white tone nails and yeah this is just the perfect shade for like giving you that kind of look that's what it looks like there and as you can see i've used a lot of it and i also love the type of brush in it as well it's a little bit thicker i don't want to take it out because i'll probably end up spilling it everywhere but yeah it's a little bit thicker the brush on it which is great because i do prefer them more kind of as you call them they call them contour brushes so they are a little bit more thicker than the wee thin skinny ones that are just so silly but yeah this is a little bit thicker brush in it which i really like so speaking of like the thicker kind of contour brushes the brand deborah Lipman like have contour brushes in them as well like the thicker type brushes and a couple like i really do love deborah Lipman and i get sent quite a lot of their stuff in pr so i have a bunch of her nail polishes especially from the gel lab pro range and these are a couple here that i really do love and, and i've been wearing a lot this year so at the beginning of 2016 i was wearing this shade a little bit more which is the shade peaches and cream so that's what that shade looks like there which is a gorgeous peachy creamy shade and then the other shades that i've been really enjoying in the kind of later part like between um the fall and the winter time and um, which are these two here so this one here is she wolf so this is a kind of taupey gray shade which looks gorgeous if you have this on like um, really long nails like nails i have today and actually the shade i have on my nails today is another development nail polish and that is like a kind of rose gold shade and that is chalice in the palace and like that is a gorgeous shade as well make sure your nails look really really nice and i'm obsessed with that and then same with um this shade here which is wild things this is a gorgeous greeny a dark forest greeny shade it's described as a peacock green but to be honest it's more of a kind of dark forest green to me but yeah i really do love her gel lab pro nails i just love how kind of shiny and glossy they look on the nails and yet they are kind of slightly more thicker brushes in it so like more contour brushes so i really do love the brushes and everything and i love the whole kind of formula i love the stain power how it doesn't chip and everything as well so yeah really do love them and i just love the bottle design as well they're just so sweet and they look really nice on like the dresser and um, so yeah love them okay guys so that is everything for my best of beauty 2016 thank you so much for watching so yeah i hope you have a wonderful 2017 and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already then i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my channel give this video a great big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will speak to you very very soon in my next video bye Mwah.